peeps welcome again to channel 48 well these last days i'm fully into windows 12 at least you know Linux 12 and i showed you my previous build that i again updated as well a bit in look and feels because i saw that in fact the taskbar at the at the bottom mine was a little bit too short uh, whatever uh, we saw during the presentation um, was in fact a, a taskbar that would have these little spaces at both sides and mine was a little bit too short so i made it a little bit longer because i as well thought that that looked good so um in dimensions it, it kind of looked better but how about 32 bit you know i have many 32 bit users as well so i as well made a 32 bit build but this build is based on debian 12 because debian 12 bookworm is still in yeah test test phrase so and it's not fully done yet but the previous installers that i tried were failing at the end in some way but yesterday i found a better installer and that installer i used to build um uh for for 32 bit so i grabbed that same samsung laptop that would not boot the 64 bit uh window Linux 12 that i showed in the two videos ago it would not even boot it up however debian 12 32 bit does boot on it and it it looks just like wow it just looks great let me show you uh, first the changes that i made for the 64 bit this will as well be uh yeah the last build based on uh on bull's eyes uh, so i'm still finish this one and then you gonna get an update but this is the updated uh, build as you can see i made the taskbar a little bit longer but it does have about the same space that we saw in the leaked pictures and the top as well got something new um, and that is here at the search here you can see the nice i don't know if you can see it but here you can see it's not exactly the same as what we see in windows 12 but that is as well not the meaning because windows 12 can still change okay it's still in a changing mood it's not final yet whatever these guys created but if you click on the search here on top now you're gonna get this menu and this menu will let you go through your applications i think maybe as well could be suitable if microsoft would uh, make a thing like this extra for tablet users and you know change these this, these things these sections and make them a little bit bigger so they are touch touch screen friendly then in fact yeah you could easily use this as well on these tablets all right so i must make this video fast because my brother's come, gonna pick me up because uh, my car is done and it's my garage just called me so let's go to the 32 bit here we're gonna find the 32 bit system i'm gonna back off a little bit with the camera and get this light out there so all right so what is this um here is the login screen i did change the login screen guys i wanted to make it yeah even a little bit better than uh, the very first build uh, that yeah i posted all right um so let me see uh, And this is how it looks. Let me close some things that I was doing. It's not done yet. Okay, I did not make the distro yet, but uh, all the tools to, to do so are already installed. It looks really outstanding. As you can see, I as well have the dock the way we saw it in the leaked pictures. The same thing here on top just like in the 64 bit okay 
and uh, our start menu. This is running on a dual core with uh, four gigabytes of RAM. And this is a PAE uh, system, so that means that all the RAM is being used. All the RAM is 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 in in use. 3.8 gigabyte, 200, I think, for the video card. So yeah, this this looks just like amazing. This what you now see um, can happen sometimes. Okay, as well on the 64-bit system, and then then it's just recalculating things. And because this is uh, yeah. Pen, yeah, what can I say? Dual core, it's not a Pentium. It's in fact, you know, having a better processor than the Pentium, but it's uh, still yeah, old PC. Came with Windows 7, has a Windows 7 license. And this, this might, yeah, might stress you once in a while when it happens, uh, but it will completely restore itself very nicely. If you give it the time okay and then you can go ahead and do whatever you were doing here you see and then you can go through everything you won't get it anymore but sometimes it can happen so you can that's why as well just go from here and grab any app you want to oops get to you do that by using the arrows or the mouse wheel if you're using a mouse as well very handy on these kinds of laptops a normal mouse with a mouse wheel will make you kind of god you see that we even have elisa multimedia elisa it as well plays uh, live tv straight from the websites so you can watch the news it has the same uh, the same stuff as uh, the 64 bit browser is kind of exactly the same because that is how i set up all my browsers so they can read uh, chat gpt etc it's all in the browser including uh, yeah the reading of the text of the chat gpt uh, the books that you're making so you can immediately make an audiobook if you install the system you could uh yeah i can add audacity to the systems i must uh for both still make new distros so i will you know i will make new distros for for both of these uh, devices so um i can add that as well I must still add the firewall oh no i already added the firewall to the system and it's turned on remember that uh the microphone is set to off at all times and if you're gonna if you want to make phone calls uh, i have a tool or a, a phone it's called twinkle and with twinkle if you have a voip account soon i'm gonna make a video about how to uh, make VoIP, a voip account and how to deal with that etc but here you can see this is twinkle and twinkle is a voip phone that will as well give you a desk phone if you have an inbound number just like me you can put in your sip details and your provider uh, and then you can receive and make calls with with this operating system even in a live mode okay so if you're running it from usb most of you will run it from usb these are the mother builds that you're looking at installed onto the system so yeah this this works as well kind of permanent this is really 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 nice this is really lovely lovely systems one of a kind and with the looks of our favorite uh, operating system as well but remember these are just concepts and these are not official builds these are just yeah for fun okay collectors item things and but they work really good and of course you can use them as your daily system and yeah test them out if you install it you will as well get updates not from me but from debian because this is based on debian 12 and this is based on debian 11 so that's the story well i wish you all a whole lot of fun let me know 
in the comments if you want me to create distros for you. So that means you leave a like for the video. Yeah, that is encouraging for me. Always helpful, you know, for the video. Um, and yeah, then request or say something in the text. Hey, I would like to have it. Let me know if uh, you want me to create these live distros for you that you can run live and install. And then I will make sure that you will get it later. All right, my friends, then I wish you a nice Friday and I'm gonna get ready and uh, collect my car because my Celica is done.